What's going on everyone? Jackson the Galactic Hero here. And today we have the new Pokemon Pikachu V collection box that I got from GameStop. I believe it came out Friday or Saturday. I don't really know since I was I wasn't really here. Well, I wasn't even paying attention actually. But yeah, I'll be able to pick up today at GameStop while I was running errands. And yeah, I can't wait to get inside of it because that promo card looks really amazing. And I just carried that to my collection. But yeah. It comes with one foil promo card featuring Pikachu V, one foil card um, featuring Mimikyu, an oversized Pikachu V card for TDG packs, and a code card. And here is the uh, Have a Lightning Blast with Pikachu V. If you want to read it, you can pause right there. But yeah, so far I think this comes, it looks like it comes with two packs of Fusion Strike and two packs of Burden Stars, which isn't bad actually. And that Pikachu card looks very amazing. I like the artwork on it. And the Mimikyu's card is the same one from the, um, same one from the like, Dollar General 10s that they have. So I have like so many copies of this card. But yeah, the box looks all around. I like the lightning bolts on it. I have like, lightnings up here too. A pretty nice looking box, in my opinion. This is probably the, the better um, looking Pikachu V boxes, besides the V Union box, because it's my personal favorite box. But for the Pikachu V boxes, this one has to be probably like the, the best looking one out of all of them. Because I believe there's, I know there's one other one, along with the shiny face Pikachu V box. And I'm not sure why I keep doing Pikachu V boxes, but the Pokemon Company, if you're listening, you should totally do like a Swampert V box or a Mudkip V box or a Dracozolt or Arctozolt V box. Because that would be pretty cool. Kind of like the Pokemon, personally. Or I would not mind like a Swampert themed like ETB. Because that would be awesome, actually, at the collection. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. And get those promo cards. See what, look, what they, um, how they look up close. If I can open it. There we go. Oh, this box is like so clean. This is like a, it kind of looks like a like Power Ranger almost. Here's the plastic. Oh, okay. That's not in there. I like the little, the little tap things they put on back of the cars now. So not just in the plastic by themselves. Here is the code card for the Pikachu V box. Have fun with that, guys. Here's the oversized card. The oversized card. If you're listening in the background, that's just kind of like of you to play in the background, type of noise. But don't worry about that. Right, here is the Pikachu V box. This looks like in the um the card, the jumbo card. I like the artwork on this one a lot better than most of the other Pikachu um, V cards. This one looks a lot better. Put that behind that marsh stump. And Swampert. Here is the small version. Like, this is like a very nice looking card. Like... These cars have like really amazing artwork. Like a sleeve from up here and sleeve it up. There you go. This car is very nice. And you can see donuts with promo. Uh, I wonder if the Nuka card is a promo. Now think about it. I know the one from the, um, from the, um, Dollar General 10s aren't, isn't a promo. Oh, it isn't. Uh, I think some Chilling Rings looks like. Probably. Interesting. It might be if they made this, like, up to, like, a full out promo or something. Or, like, they, like, they should probably do, like, a, um... For like a V at a V Union box, they should probably do like a, a um Pikachu clone V Union box, like with Pikachu and all like the Pikachu clones, including like Mimikyu, 
Cuff would be pretty cool. Like a tag, like um, they do like another tag team card. She do Mikyu and um, Pikachu tag team. I thought that'd be pretty cool, in my opinion. Slide. Yeah, we got two packs of Burning Stars, a Charizard artwork, and a. I one was a cut. That's the next thing's name. I for, almost forgot it for a second. But we got two packs of Burning Stars. And we have two packs of Fusion Strike, a Gengar, and a Mew. Not bad pack selection. I kind of do like the um the updated pack selection though. Hopefully, I can get something I need for the bank for my um for my uh Pokemon Burden Stars complete set that I'm aiming to get. So yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna get some cards for that. Hopefully that's it. Like that would be really awesome to get and have like a clear set. But yeah, let's get into the card opening. I'm gonna do the fusion strike first, then probably move on to um bring stars last. Let's do the forest heart. All right, here, like because I know that most boxes that the pop like the pulls aren't really that good in some boxes. So I'm hoping like the they, if this isn't the case because that would really suck. Oh, wrong way. Here is the code card. I must admit, though, I do like the new code cards, though. They look like a lot better than the old ones, in my opinion. We got the energy card. Got a grass energy. Got a quick ball. A Morgrim single strike. You got a cook. I will. A precious, if this card's a full art card, I really want this card. They full art if it's not already one. Got a Q Fent single strike. Got a Pen Sage that looks really cute. I like this card. It looks like very adorable. Got a Voltorb. You got a Rapid Strike Shelter. We got a cute little Eevee on the hills in the countryside. You got a reverse rare Deoxys single strike, fusion strike, and rapid strike. I wonder if they're gonna come on with any more strike cards for like this like, um, sort of shoot. Oh my god. Oh, what the heck? That is nice. That is, this is like so cool. I'm not sure if this is the alt art Genesect V. So, no, I'm pretty sure the alt one is when he's bird dancing. But that is like an amazing hit. Like, wow, this car is very beautiful. I had that little symbols in the background, like it's like the mechanic, like the computer programming symbols. Like, and the blue looks like very amazing. I am so happy right now. That's an amazing card. It looks so, it looks so beautiful. That pack was like totally worth it. If we get nothing else from this box, I would say that that pretty much makes the entire box for me. Like that card is like really beautiful. Like the artwork on Pokemon cards is like amazing. Same thing for Yu-Gi-Oh too. Like trading card artwork is like super amazing. And, like I honestly have to give props to the artist because like they really do know what they're doing. Here's the code card. Oh, then. I'm happy right now. <laughs> Got a Metal Energy for our second pack. Starting off our second pack of um, Fusion Strike. Got an Elder Goss. We got a Camo Manic. A cute little Dunsparce. Got an Onyx. A cute little Snome. I'm pretty sure if this is clay, this is like, I, I would really like a, like a um, Snome figure. Got a Single Strike Impotent. A single strike Cufant. A Sandscrew True. A reverse single strike electrode. And a Landorus Hollow. Not bad. It's very intimidating. Gotta say, pretty good so far. Get something from each from every pack so far, which isn't bad. 
Now moving off to our Burning Stars, our two packs. Let's see if we can smoke, um, if I can smoke Trainer Gallery cards, that would honestly be I'm looking for mostly from this set. That or the full of Trainer cards. So if I get any of those, I would be pretty happy. If I pull any old arts, that would also be pretty good. I just need cards for the binder. Here is the code card. I just need cards from like the, uh, I don't have a binder for it yet because I haven't found one. But I'm just kind of collecting cards and kind of putting them to the side so that I can't add to the binder whenever I get one. Got a bear tick, a fracture, a chinchar, a bell toy, a, a um, snow rent, a nose pest, a cute little Mercury being so happy. A reverse purple pass and a clefable. Skip walking on water. Not bad. No hollow, but it's okay. It's all right. Last pack of the opening. I think before I open this actually, I'm open, open, open up this one random pack of yogurts that I have randomly sitting on the desk. Oh, like in like a table. It get, comes with one boost pack, um, two rare cards, and eight common cards. I just had the random thing around and I didn't have a plan for it. So I guess we open it right now. And then finish off with the with the burn stars, the last burn star pack. You got a predator plant. I do not pronounce it. Ooh, planter subtilots. I think I need this card actually for my um for my planter deck. Not bad. A Dynamis Stegosaur. A Red Raptor Wild Vulture. A Red Raptor Plain Pain Lanius. What the heck? <laughs> Red Raptor Avenge Falcon. It's a vulture, I'd say. Why is it with all the Red Raptors? Red Raptor Skull Eagle. Cuban. Lunar Light. White rabbit and lunar light purple butterfly. That was really weird. It's like what four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four red raptor cards. That was like very weird. Maybe you want me to build red raptors. I think that I haven't I saw that playing before. Raging battles, one pack. If you can pull power tool out of here, that would be like a dream come true. Cause I've been trying to pull power tool from this set for like ever. Okay, I only have like, I think I only have like one, maybe two powerful dragons. And it's like my favorite synchro monster of all times. So if I'm gonna pull one on camera, that'd be really amazing. Got a Phoenixian seed. Got a gadget arm. Morph Trinic Sculpin. Ooh. An ultra rare. I'll take I'll take it. A Earthbound Immortal Kokapakapoo. I like this card because I like Kalen Kessler from the anime. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, Yusei is my favorite character, like my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character of all times, but Kalen Kessler was like pretty up there too from 5Ds. This is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series, but I will take this. That is really amazing. That is beautiful. You got Ojama Red. A Automatic Laser. Mermaid Archer. Double tool C and D and a trap stun, which also wasn't bad. That wasn't a bad pack, actually. I was expecting to get like to get a hit pull from it, but not bad. Totally worth the money, I think. I don't know how much card is worth though, but I'm saying it's worth it because you know it's five of trading cards. I'm pretty happy. Last pack of the video, bring stars. Let's see what I'm able to get from it. Hopefully, I'm able to pull. Something in the video off on a good note. If I can open it. There we go. It's like I can't, can't they don't want to be open or something. Here is the code card. So you gotta get some really good stuff from it. And let's see what we can get from our last pack of today's opening. We got a psychic type energy. Got a Gloria. I like her. 
just pretty, just pretty like cute and like I can design though. Like the um the sort of shield character designs are pretty cool. I did like the 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 male um backpack. Like it's way too bulky for me. Got a Staravia. We got a berry. A trimpinch. A cast form. Looking surprised. We got a throw. A shroomish. A piplup. Oh, yes, yeah, because I want the cards I wanted. Mimikyu V character rare. Yeah, that's one of the cards I wanted. This is like the, my like one number one chase card from the set. This one, the um, it was this one, and then there's the um, the Sylveon one I wanted. But yeah, this is like one of my main cards I wanted from the set. So I am very happy about that. And then a Grim Snarl, non hollow, but I will take it. One of the cards I needed for my master set. I am pretty happy. If I can take the sleeves out. I am very happy about that, actually. I would say this box wasn't too bad, actually, in my opinion. The pool rates are pretty good. Didn't get as many um, character, I like, get another character, which is kind of sad, but I will take it for my Mimikyu card that I wanted. But yeah, I would say all around, I feel like this box was, was totally worth it, in my opinion. Especially like this, especially these two. And like, that's why I like all three cards actually, because like, they all have like really amazing artwork. But like, I am so happy. <laughs> Anyways, if you liked today's video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Links are down below in the com in the um the video description. And until next time, this is Jackson signing off.